The NFL Draft is squarely on the way. It is coming up on April 23rd, and you'll hear it live on 97.3 ESPN. One of the guys hoping to hear his name called is Temple defensive back Harrison Hand, and he joins us now on the Boardwalk Honda Hotline. Harrison, what's going on, man? How you been? Yeah, I've been great. You know, just staying safe and staying in shape. How about you? I'm doing all right, and it's. Uh, I got to imagine that this was not the draft uh, process that you thought it might be with what's going on in the world. How are you kind of keeping yourself ready for the draft? Or how are you able to kind of work out and kind of keep yourself, you know, thinking about the draft without with everything going on? Yeah, it definitely is not the uh, not the draft, but you know, everything that doesn't come um, all right all the time, but. Uh, you know, I'm just staying in shape by going to the field, you know, still running around doing my um my workouts. I have my trainer just a couple minutes away, and I'm just, you know, staying in shape every day and not letting it um, hold me back. Yeah, I, I, you know, and you came out early, too, and it's like, uh, you know, you're get, you're excited to go to the next phase of your career, and then this kind of happens, and uh, I guess we're all kind of living in limbo. But uh, let's go back to your high school days first because you're a local guy, Cherry Hill West, which is, by the way, not like a football factory. Uh, but while you were there, right. uh, had some success there. What do you remember about your time playing at Cherry Hill West that kind of like made you feel like this is this is for me. This is what I want to do. Um, it was just some, just putting the work in. Like since my freshman year, you know, going in there and you know just being in the weight room and just on the field with all the guys is just really just really putting in that work in every day. Even though, like you said, we weren't the um, the best like football factory but everyone there we always wanted to just be the best and just put the work in so that's what it is the drive all right so i always wonder about guys who you know someone like yourself who plays division one football now you started your career at baylor which is uh big 12 you end up coming back home to go to temple but when do you make the decision or who makes the decision for you because you also played some running back right i mean uh, you had 28 carries. You scored a couple of touchdowns. And someone who's like such a great athlete, I think you ran a four five forty. When does that decision get made of if you're going to be an offensive player or a defensive player when you make that move to college? Um, I think it's always been like it's always depending on the player. It's, it's in your mind because truthfully, even though I played both sides, offense and defense, I always uh, knew I was a defensive player. I just loved the hit. And tackle, so was, I think is that really uh, that aggressive side of me, just yeah. being on defense, but <laughs> and also just which yeah, it was just that right, which is kind of interesting because you know you end up going to Baylor in the Big Twelve, which the Big Twelve is not really known for these defenses. They've got like fifty to forty nine games going on, uh, which is crazy. Watching Big Twelve games is like watching video games sometimes. It's got to be an yeah. amazing atmosphere to be in some of those Big 12 stadiums and some of those Big 12 games. You spent your freshman year, started 12 games. Uh, you played in 10 games uh, as a sophomore. So what was it like playing in Waco and down in the Big 12 those first two years? I'd say it was a ph phenomenal experience. You know, just getting that, um, that type of uh, experience out there as such a young player, as a freshman, being able to start and go against the different guys in the Big 12, like different QBs and different receivers that, you know, really are the best in the Big 12. And also just, you know, having that fast-paced offense and then coming back to uh, Temple, which was not really that um, fast-paced of a conference. It really slowed things down. Right. But I think it helped a lot. Yeah, talk about your time at Temple, too, because you start off at Baylor, and then you have some family reasons. You end up moving back here. Uh, you're from the Cherry Hill area, and then you end up going back to Temple here. And as you mentioned, you know, Temple, it's got, you know, when I was in college, Temple was playing at the vet in front of, like, 15 people. Uh, things have certainly <laughs> changed for that program. And Matt Rule, who I'm assuming that's one of the reasons why you ended up going to Baylor, uh, he really changed – the perception of that program, and I'm interested to see like how things are there now, as opposed to you know playing for Matt in Baylor and then coming back to Temple where he left, uh, where that program is right now. Um, yeah, I say the program definitely is still is still in a great position. I know that Temple Tough that that never, no matter who's coaching, I think that stays there and that sticks. That Temple Tough mentality that everybody has there, but it's just a great, just a great program and great guys. Everybody there always ready to work, no matter what the uh, circumstances are. Just, I know everybody just loves working there. 
Uh, and it, yeah, you're right. It's a program that has kind of uh, really been on the upswing for you know at least the last ten years or so. Uh, certainly has made big strides. Harrison Hand, Temple defensive back, is our guest here. Played high school at Cherry Hill West on 97.3 ESPN. Uh, where do you see yourself in the NFL? Are you an outside corner? Are you going to look to be a slot? Uh, what is kind of uh, where you're hearing that is the best fit for you at the next level? Um, really, I'd say, you know, I played corner um, three years in college, but no, it doesn't matter if it's outside corner, nickel, safety, uh, wherever they want to put me, you know, I'm, I'm going to just uh, play to the best of my ability and definitely make plays there no matter where I'm at. So safety is a possibility for you, you think? Uh, yes, sir, definitely. All right. Well, uh, one of the things, you know, I was looking at uh, different things I see as a corner, you know, uh, Harrison Hand ranked in the top 15 corners in this draft class, and uh, this has got to be a unique experience. How are you going to kind of spend the first couple nights of the draft? I mean, uh, this is a very unique experience. What's the plan for, uh, dr- the, you know, the three draft days? Uh, the plan just to, you know, sit there and lock in and watch. Whenever uh, they call my name, you know, it's going to be a blessing no matter when it is. So, basically, have they told you guys, hey, just sit in your house and kind of wait around? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that most people have to sit in their houses anyway, but, like, has your agent kind of been like, hey, yeah. don't go anywhere, just kind of hunker down? Uh, because I'm imagining that, you know, you don't know when your name's going to get called ever in these kind of situations, but I'm sure, you're, you know, your agent here and some stuff, but basically saying, hey, don't go anywhere, don't leave the house, don't do anything, don't go out for anything, don't get any takeout, just hang in, and uh, this is going to be such a unique experience. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, we always, we don't uh, quarantine like that anyway, so it's not really uh, much of a problem to stay in the house, but <laughs> now are you sitting in there watching for the first couple of days. Are you uh, doing what a lot of these uh, guys in their downtime are doing? I mean, are you uh, playing video games, Twitch? I mean, just uh, last night they had a horse game on ESPN. I mean, it seems like people are coming up with some creative ways to kind of pass their time. What are yeah. some of the creative things that you've been doing through this uh, quarantine? I mean, I'm either on uh, watching movies with my family, I'm trying to have some game nights, or just on uh, Call of Duty with my boys. That's really it. So Call uh, of Duty working, is I still to do. Call of Duty is still like the big thing. Yeah, it definitely is. Jeez, I'm uh, I'm 43 now. I played Call of Duty probably about 10 years ago, and I when I was I'm I'm pretty shocked to see that like that that's still like because back then, by the way, it was a tremendous. The graphics were unbelievable. I can't even imagine <laughs> what the graphics look like nowadays. But I mean, do you like do you do the stuff? Uh, are you on Twitch doing playing games like with others and, and stuff like that? Like, are you out there so the public can like you know look you up and start playing with you? Uh, as of right now, I'm not. But you know, I'm planning on it. I'm not with the, uh, Twitch right now. Did you uh, watch the horse game last night? Did you? Were you interested in that at all? Oh, I, didn't, I didn't even get the chance. I didn't even know it was on. Yeah, they had a horse tournament on ESPN last night. So it was like, you know, a game of horse in your backyard. So one guy took a shot, and he was in his backyard, mm-hmm. and the other guy was in his backyard, and they had, like, you know, really, wow. like, television, not not television, like, cell phone cameras doing it. So it was yeah. Chauncey Billups against Trey Young was the first round. And I got to tell you, you didn't miss much. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was not uh it was not the best uh thing. So where are you where are you hunkered down right now? Are you back here in Jersey? Uh, yes, I'm right in uh Cherry Hill, New Jersey, hometown. Cherry Hill. All right. Harrison Hand, uh Temple. Now, what was the best part of living in Waco? Um, I'd say it was really just a different atmosphere, you know, going down there it was a uh, coach shot. But I would say it was a negative one. Yeah. It was just, you know, the um, just the nature and the free the free room, how big it is out there. <laughs> just meeting the different people that I got to meet. You know, there's a lot of different people, like a lot of my um, real guys out there. Now, are you dating or do you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, because I was going to say, like, if your girlfriend would be like my girlfriend – uh, you know, who, who's the, uh, the – they're from Waco. They do the home the, – the, on the um, – HGTV, they they like um, own Waco out there, don't they? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I can't think of their names. Like shipping. They're the, they're the married shipping couple. Like yeah, 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 married couple. They basically own everything out there, don't they? 
Yeah. Chip, and, Chip and Joanna Gaines, right? Yeah, Chip. Yeah, I knew it was Chip. Yeah. Now, is he hanging? Around, does he hang around the team at all? Do you, you ever see him? Uh, I definitely. I think I saw. I think I saw them uh, one time. They came around, but I think I saw them around the team one time. So there's a lot more happening at Temple than Waco, I imagine, right? <laughs> 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 True, please, but it goes both ways. Yeah, well, so let me real quick before we let you roll here. By the way, uh, you can follow Harrison at underscore Harry22 and at Harrison Hand on uh, Instagram to keep up with what he's doing for the draft and getting ready for the draft process. Now, I'm a WVU grad. Do you remember any your, of your time playing in Morgantown? I uh, know, like, nah. Oh man! Everybody who freshman year, my freshman year, okay, I played. It was a home game. That that's when I um started my sophomore. Year, I was a little hurt, and I, I don't think I got the uh oh, the right. chance to go down to just West Virginia. So I was gonna say everybody who plays there talks about how like everybody, all the draft prospects who have been in the Big Twelve and have played there are like, dude, mm-hmm. that place was the most bizarre place I've ever been to. Yeah. But you go to those right. Big yeah, Twelve schools, we see some different things in those Big Twelve places, man. When you live in the Northeast and you end up in a Big Twelve school, you've seen some different things than what you're nor- you're, you're used to. <laughs> yeah, definitely, <laughs> you definitely are. Uh, all right, Harrison Hand, draft night is coming, and you can listen to the draft right here. Uh, we wish you luck, man. We're going to be listening for your name, and uh, stay safe. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. You too. I appreciate you. Uh, Harrison Hand, Temple Draft Prospect, at Harry22 on Twitter. We'll listen to here when his name is called on draft night. DraftCountdown.com, Scott Wright, has him ranked as the 15th best corner in this year's draft class, which is a pretty good draft class at the corner.